Hello, my name is Shane McKinley and I'm the coordinator for North Belfast Advice Partnership and we have five advice services in the North of the city, with two of them being in the village area. As part of our service, we deliver advice on benefits and debt advice and family support, other services such, an, such as support of employability. Um, and this year also we have our, had our food bank, which has played a major role in supporting families. We've had our food bank for seven years now, but this year I'm going to say it's taken on a world of its own. Um, and from the start of lockdown, we have delivered over 7,000 parcels to families in North Belfast. As part of that, we've been working with a range of organisations and key players in North Belfast. Um, Tommy, our Don Youth Club, um, our family support, Extern, Springboard Ops, um, our schools, our health trusts, loads of community and voluntary organisations that have come in to help and support us, but also people who have just phoned in to say they want to come in and volunteer and help us. This year we've also done a number of different projects that would allowed us to reach out to people in different ways. So over the summer we did a Spread the Love um, North Belfast project, which was to reach out to older people um, with pamper and packs and some practical information and support that they need. We did a sunflower challenge um, in North Belfast, which we got loads of families. We had over 1,200 families involved in that. And then we also did um, a Let's Talk Money at Home pack, which was practical advice and support for families to get their finances in order during this hard time. Over the past nine months, we have um, probably fed over 20,000 families um, in North Belfast. And on a weekly basis, we deliver more than 300 free parcels. One of the key things that we did this year was we partnered with the People's Kitchen and therefore we were able to provide food parcels of hot, hot food as well and we provide outreach support during the day um, and we support them in their endeavour to support homeless people. In the last sort of six, six months we have really seen the increase of people who have lose, losing their jobs or people who have been having to move on to benefit and that meant that we had to really prepare for Christmas as we knew families would find it hard, hence the reason why we're now in the SSC arena. Um, we knew we needed a safe big space and we we're so grateful for the, the SSC Arena to provide us with this and it has allowed us to bring more than 200 volunteers in over the three week period to, to get out two and a half thousand parcels um, which is unbelievable but shows the sheer scale of need out there. One of the projects that I'm really proud of that we did was we partnered up with the Big Soul Community NI and we distributed 4,000 face masks that were made by their volunteers right across North Belfast to all our foes, support at living, but also the organisations like Cancer Lifeline um, and different community groups, um, which really made a difference. And it was so nice when you got a text at night to say from people, they really loved their flowery face mask and they felt safe going out. So that was one of the things that I think that was really um, positive that we did and it was something that we really connected with a lot of older people with.